Okay. Um, it's taken me all day Saturday to try to figure this thing out, but hopefully this will do it. So we're going to do a little tutorial for Quaver. And um, in case you forgot, the class code is P43A6. So P43A6. So when you open that, you go to the assignments and you'll see an assignment for Q Groove Light. So we did something like this last week, but not too many people turned it in. So we're going to do kind of the same thing this week and you're going to be able to submit it. So I'll be able to see who did their work and it'll be another grade along with a paragraph. Okay, so now let's look at the screen that you're going to see. All right, so Q Groove Lights. And you're going to make three of these, three different ones, and then you're going to pick the one you like the best and submit it to me, and I'll show you how to do that. So there's a couple of different variables. You have all these different instruments. Um, you could use them all. You could use some of them. You have different tempos, speeds, moderate, fast, slow, different keys. You can change it here. I'm going to stick with that. But most importantly, you have all these different styles, rock, rap, pop, hip hop. Um, it goes on and on. So there's many different styles. So coming up with three different um, beats is going to be really pretty easy for you. So what you do first is you choose the instrument. I'm going to start with keyboard. And then down at the bottom, you see these different keyboard riffs. I'm going to listen to them. Good. Good. All right, so you drop and drag into the little square. So I'm going to put one here. And again, you don't have to fill up everything. You can kind of pick and choose. But I happen to like these keyboard riffs. So I'm going to fill them all up. I'm going to do some different ones. Usually the first one is always like the main one. The other ones are kind of variations, if you will. And then you can listen to it by pressing the play button. And sometimes it's a, the beat's a little funky because it's the way the memory is being used, but usually it clears up. See, it's kind of stopping a little bit. That's because I'm running Zoom and this at the same time, but usually it clears up. Okay, so pretty good. Then I'm going to pick the synthesizer and listen to some different ones. All right. All right, so I'm just going to kind of put a few of those in there. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one there. Again, you don't have to fill up everything. It's not always better to have more. All right, let me listen to it. All right. Got to have drums, of course. Can I be in drums? Okay, let's hear it. Nice and solid. I like that one. And eh, not thrilled about that. Kind of loose. Nice and driving. And kind of a fill. All right. So I have drums at every measure, definitely. I'm going to put four of these solid ones. I'm going to skip the second one in care for it. I'm going to put the kind of driving one and then the fill kind of beat. I'm going to listen to it. And again, mind the beat's a little weird because there's a lot of memory being used, but it usually clears up. All right, good enough. All right, as you know, I like the bass. You saw that in the video. Eh. Eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. Not thrilled with anyone, but I'm going to have some bass all the way through. Mm 
Listen to it. All right, again, it's Skippy. All right, little percussion, see what we got here. Pretty good. Better. Kind of a fill. Kind of a fill. And then at the arrow, sometimes there's even more. See, there's like another one over there, but I'm happy with those. Okay, I, you know what, I forgot, I'm listening to them again. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I like that one better. All right. So I'm gonna use a lot of this one. I'm gonna skip a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna put these at the end. All right, didn't fill up everything, but you don't have to. All right, and it's kind of skipping a little bit, but it's not my fault, that's just the computer. Okay, so now I'm happy with that for the most part. You go to the menu, you look for save. So save, and now I have to call it something. My advice is use your name. Uh, the, the way the gray book is, it shows up with your name, but it might be better. Okay, so I'm gonna call it number two. I've done a couple of these, okay. So when I press OK, see that arrow going up? That means that it saved it. And if I look in my menu, look at Open, you can see I've done a couple of these. Really, it's been like all day trying to get this program to work. Um, but OK. All right, so when you do three of them, and again, you could change it by choosing these, the speed. Most importantly, you could change the style. Um, do three of them, and then when you find one you like the best, you go back to menu, and on yours, there's gonna be something called submit. Mine doesn't have it, because I'm the boss, but yours is gonna be submit, and you submit it to me, and then in the grade book on Quaver, it'll show up that you did it. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed, it's really a fun little program. Um, and I'm gonna stop sharing. It's the end of that. Okay, and uh, everybody take care. And if you have any questions, you know, let me know. That's fine. Okay, thank you.